An important aspect of the evolution of smartphones has been their displays. There are a variety of options to choose from, and while some companies like Samsung prefer using AMOLED panels, other giants like Apple use IPS LCD technologies for their smart devices. Which one exactly is the better option? Well, to know about that, we would have to take a look at the important aspects of these two display technologies and go through some brief history and finally get to a conclusion. One highlighted question that I would be answering in this video would be about battery drain in AMOLED and IPS displays and which one fares better in power efficiency. This question was asked by Ayush Jain in the most recent Q&A video that I made on this channel. Hit the thumbs up button on this video and subscribe to the channel in case you like such videos because I'll be making many more of these in the future. IPS stands for in-plane switching and it is a display technology built on the improvements from LCD which is liquid crystal display and TFT which are thin film transistors. IPS displays have better viewing angles compared to their predecessors which are the TN displays which had major complaints regarding color inversion at extreme angles. IPS displays are also much more efficient in power consumption compared to its predecessors. AMOLED which stands for Active Matrix Organic Light Emitting Diodes are based on Active Matrix technology. Well IPS also has Active Matrix technology. This means that TFT's thin film transistors regulate each pixel's power themselves without the support of external wires. One important aspect of AMOLEDs is the fact that organic LEDs are present which emit light and black color in AMOLED displays is equivalent to an off pixel. This helps with the ambient technology usage of AMOLED displays. So well, let's begin with a comparison. There's some obvious points that everyone notices on AMOLED and IPS panels. The fact that AMOLED displays have technically an infinite contrast ratio since it turns off the power for black color gives it an edge upon IPS displays which produce black color using its pixels power. Thus, ambient display applications where just a very tiny part of the screen has to be lit up, those applications are practically viable only through AMOLED displays. Another obvious point of comparison is the fact that IPS displays are flat and cannot be generally bent. However, AMOLED displays on the other hand are highly flexible and thus have more applications across bendable and edged devices. So definitely if you talk about the obvious points, AMOLED has a very clear edge upon IPS panels. However, when we start talking about the non-obvious points is when we start to see the importance of IPS displays. These IPS displays are built upon previous technologies and are well refined. A lot of tests and refinements have been done on IPS panels and thus maximum efficiency till date have been ensured. Research on AMOLED displays are also going on on very high levels but they are comparatively new and have a few etches here and there. One important example of this is the fact that pixels in IPS panels would never burn into the display given their technological advancement. This however might be a problem in AMOLED displays after an year or two where the notification panel icons can burn in into the display and damage it permanently. And now finally let's talk about the battery drain of AMOLED as well as IPS displays. Well as I already mentioned if AMOLED displays have black color on the screen they would turn that pixel completely off. However for IPS panels the entire black light would be on even if the output color is plain black. Now while this point can be given in favor of AMOLED displays, there is also a setback. Each pixel in AMOLED display takes up a higher amount of energy compared to an IPS pixel for producing the same amount of light. This is because IPS panels in organic pixels are much more power efficient compared to the organic pixels used in AMOLED displays. And well, other factors like display size, average brightness of the display, the resolution of the display etc are also very important in factoring the power efficiency of the display of a given smartphone. However, I can give you an idea about a generally noticed trend. Jumping for higher resolution where more light is to be pushed through each pixel, IPS panels are better. However, where ambient display technology is much more used, AMOLEDs are the to-go option. For a general usage purpose, it comes down to the engineering decisions made for the specific display type. For example, Samsung Super AMOLED displays have even higher saturation levels than normal 
and that makes those displays even less efficient. But their extensive usage of ambient display technologies basically makes it virtually impossible for them to use IPS panels. On the other hand, with the help of their advanced technology, Apple has been able to produce very high contrast images with the help of IPS panels alone. And well, IPS displays on an average give a much higher power efficiency to the company. So again, it just comes off to the trade-off. Anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I learned a lot of stuff while researching on this topic and hope that you learned something too. And well, yeah, thank you so much for watching. My name is Shivam Kejriwal and I'll catch you guys in the next one.